Hello, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to continue talking about the equation solver, the algebraic equation solver in the TI-89 calculator. We're going to explore a few uh, different functions here and give you a few tips on things that may be buried in your manual. So we'll just sort of uh, go through a couple of quick examples. One thing I wanted to point out to you before we actually get back into the equation solver is if we go up here to the algebra menu, F2, uh, we've been working with solve, where you can basically solve an equation and get the real solutions. We've worked with zeros, which is the same real thing. It's just taking an equation, uh, like a polynomial, and if it, if you set it equal to zero, then you're finding the zeros of that polynomial. So you can you can find the zeros by using the solve command. We've talked about that before, but we demonstrated that, and then we went down over here into this uh, complex menu, and we demonstrated C solve, which is complex solver. So what I was basically trying to tell you before is that, you know, if you're pretty sure your equation has real roots or if you want a faster computation just to see, you can always just use the regular solver. But if you're looking for complex solutions, if complex solutions are important in your problem, uh, or if you just know that there's going to be a complex solution, then you really do need to go here into the complex menu uh, and use this complex solver because it will return all of the complex solutions and any real solutions that are there. The only downside to using this all the time is it just takes a little bit longer to calculate the solution. So, um, you know, unless you're really pressed for time, you can just use this all the time. Now, one thing I did want to show you is, because uh, a lot of you guys are going to use this zeros function. Uh, we talked about this a minute ago. If we put an equation in there, you know, x squared plus 5x minus 4, that's a polynomial, and we're going to get, have it uh, calculate the zeros of this polynomial. All that's going to happen is it's going to set this polynomial equal to zero, which is what you're doing when you, you find the zeros. You're finding where it crosses the x-axis, and it's going to apply that solver algorithm to it to try to come up with, with solutions. So in this case, it's going to, to be able to succeed. Uh, we're going to get, get a, um, uh, two real solutions back. Uh, if we change this a little bit, Let's make it x squared, uh, just for kicks, minus x. Let's take out the 5 here. And let's make it minus 5, like that. And we're going to solve for the zeros of this guy in terms of x. Let's go ahead and hit enter, and we're going to get, it's going to go ahead and calculate that. So we're getting two zeros because it's a second order polynomial. Now it's got it all in terms of square roots because it's keeping everything exact. But if I go here to the green button and here the squig hit the squiggly line, um, then uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the two solutions there. Okay, so for both.